179 heading westbound at milepost 175 at the siding called Brooks on the Dayton District. Former MIC Big Four route. Milepost 175. This dude is flying. Like, literally. What's up guys it's a uh, cyj rail fan again so you may be wondering where i'm at right now well i'm at myers over on the dayton district again as i can tell you this is one of my favorite spots to rail fan on the dayton district in this video series that i'm starting with dinosaur and train master 1072 you guys might know him as Rex Woods and Tyler Dixon. We're going to be starting a rail series on former Big Four and New York Central lines. They will be joining me here in a little while. They will be joining me later on in the video. Um, so we're out here today to shoot 179, attacking the hill westbound out of London. Now, all I know is that 179 is probably a big train today. We have absolutely no idea what he has for power. I'm hoping for something good. Um, so yeah, follow us along. Follow us along for the ride. We'll chime in here every now and then. Tell you where we're at, what we're doing, so you guys can get a little bit of a little bit of a better understanding and anyways hope you guys have enjoy anyway hope you guys enjoy as you can already see there's 179 down there approaching 167 i right here at 168 the horn sounds very promising could be an emd nace leader so let's see what we get
All right, guys, so me and uh, Train Master 1072 are at Maitland on the uh, former DTNI line. We're about to catch an interesting meet here. We'll take a look here shortly. Tyler Dixon. Me and Tyler Dixon have found remnants of an old of an old Ohio Southern yard right next to the DTNI main line. There's the track. He even found an old there's it and just for more proof there's an old switch stand. And there's the switch. Yep. Clearly there's some other people living back here too. Train master, what do you make of this? Well, tell by the rust on the rails, it's not seen it chain in at least 50 years. Get that darker rust, that takes a long, yeah. takes a long time. It's about been 50 years worth of rest. Definitely worth a find. I mean, there's literally no paint on that at all. It's rusted completely off. 21 and turn over. Nope. There they are on the radio. Yeah. Hi, you're breaking up their uh, USB crawl. Can you repeat that over? Last time this yard was depicted on a map was in the 30s. <laughs> Understand, good, good on a roll by, uh, can show IORY 5021, all clear of uh, both form B limits on the DTNI and Urbana sub at this time, over. Probably get Range if you want to film. I appreciate the help today, thank you. Yeah, let's try to get back out of here. It's a, a neat old pine. Yeah, the rails are too out of date. Down there's the bridge that leads into Snyder Park. Or the other half of Snyder Park, pretty much. I know it'll be down, coming down there somewhere soon. Hey, this will be hey, this will be a great way to. This will be a great. There he is. This will be a great way to start off the video, honestly. Just like a little sneak peek or something, and then far enough off. Of it. And then we get in, then we get into the main main gist of it. I know. Well, actually, I didn't know. Yeah, there he is. On his way back home to Springfield. Let's get a shot of him, I guess.
Ryan-O uses CSX EOTs. That's apparently become a theme now. There he goes crossing the trestle. As you can see, there are some people living in this old rail yard. But aside from them, we are the, probably the first people to discover this old rail yard. Hmm. Definitely used to be a yard back here evidenced by the tracks. That's always fun. <laughs> 